Today we have a special guest on our channel. Who do we have here today? My name is Caitlin and this is Nell. I just have a question. When she was first adopted, how did she behave when she first got home? She was very shy and cautious. She was very much in the corner, always hiding. She didn't really like interacting. Uh -huh. And now she's more outgoing and talks a lot more. <laughs> okay, so she basically grew into the home and the whole environment, basically. Yes. Okay, that's nice. When you first adopted her, was she spayed or was she already spayed or did you get her spayed? How did that go? When we were adopting her, we got her spayed. So they spayed her at the facility and then we got her straight from there. Was it pretty easy to get her spayed or was it a long process? How was that? It was pretty quick. The people that we bought her from um, had asked us and we just had to fill out the form and then they just did it. it okay, pretty so quick. pretty simple process, nothing too hard, easy in and out. Now, follow-up question to her being spayed. What do you think her biggest challenge was coming home as a kitten with other animals in the house already? Well, at the time we had two other dogs, and when she first came in, it was kind of a big territorial issue. Uh -huh. Everyone wanted to be, you know, the top dog there, so she very much put her claws out <laughs> okay. and was very big into fighting them. <laughs> to show that she should be here. Well, that's more like a natural instinctive thing than her actual personality because you can see her, she's pretty calm, collected here. She's almost falling asleep in your hands, <laughs> but she was pretty feisty with other, the other animals. Yeah, she was. She's super sassy. <laughs> Just a little follow-up question to her little territorial fights. Has she mellowed down with the fights throughout time or has she gotten worse? She's definitely mellowed out. Um, she's very much more playful. She likes playing with the dog. Sometimes she acts like a dog. Um, it's very much, they are, they're like best friends now. Thank you for all the time today. Now, is there anything you want to share with anyone who might see this video about Nala? Um, well, I guess the only thing to share is just like, don't get on her bad side. She's very feisty. Um, she likes to pretend like she is the, the dominant one in this <laughs> in this relationship so very much like if she gets mad she'll just like pee on walls and she'll just knock oh, everything nice. down so she's very petty when she doesn't get her way yes she is very much um sassy girl okay it's the best way to describe her she doesn't seem too sassy now but it's probably because the camera's on it's hidden it's hidden <laughs> yeah all right but once again thank you for all the time today of course Today we have a special guest with us. Can you say who you are and who you have with you? Hi, I'm Alex and this one here is Ambrose. You look, look cute guys. So where'd you find them or how did you find them? Well, actually my sister found him on the streets and she brought him in one day. How old do you think he was? Was he like a little kitten or was he a little bit older? He was a kitten. He was about two months old. Following up on that last question, so how did he behave when he first got into the house? Well, he was a pretty calm kitten. He just played around a little bit when we got him toys. But other than that, there was nothing really much he did. He was just calm. Calm, um, so he was calm with everyone, but what about with the animals? Was he calm with them too, or? He was kind of calm with the animals, except for like sometimes with dogs. he just run around and get a little spooked out. Okay, so yeah, they just like excited him, made him feel jittery, and he would like kind of lash out. But by himself, he was like just chill and nothing really wrong with him. Really. Yeah, 100%. He was just a calm cat. I remember that we previously talked about your cat having to be neutered. So I have to ask you, after being neutered, do you think he got more or less aggressive with everyone? Well, it really depended. Some days he would be very aggressive and other days he'd be very affectionate. So it just really depended on the mood. You, so it wasn't really much of a behavior change, but more so that it just depends on him on the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, following up on that, how did he, like, he, he had a cone around his head. How did he react to having that? Not the best. He definitely got a lot more aggressive with the cone. Yeah. He would bite and scratch and, like, meow all over the place. So it, like it wasn't really so much him, it was something that just was always like bothering him or affecting him that made him act the way he did, but it wasn't really him by himself. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have for today. So once again, thank you and most importantly, thank little Ambrose there. Now before we go off, do you have anything special or a fun fact about him that the people would love to know? He is a crazy cat sometimes and he likes to fight our 50 pound dogs. Yeah. It looks like he's getting a little feisty. I think he's getting tired of the camera, so we'll leave him alone for now. But once again, thank you for being on with us, and hopefully we'll see you again. 